the 2015 Jeep Cherokee. The average guy. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review of the 2015 Jeep Cherokee. It's right back there. The Jeep Grand Cherokee is absolutely one of my favorite vehicles. In fact, it's why I do auto reviews on YouTube. I just love that vehicle. So when I found out that the Cherokee was coming back and it kind of looked like a Grand Cherokee light, I was excited. I'm an average guy. The Grand Cherokee is a little pricey. So for what I need a vehicle for, getting from point A to point B, you know, shuttling the kids around here and there, the Cherokee kind of fits the bill. All right, so let's talk about the exterior design of the Cherokee. As you know, I love the Grand Cherokee, and I'm loving the fact that it shares some of the design language of its bigger brother or cousin or whatever you want to call it. But it's a little bit more radical. I like the fact that it looks rugged and ready. It's got a sinister look up front with the grill and the squished headlights. I think it looks ready to rock and roll. And it won't pound your wallet as much as the Grand Cherokee. So if I hit Lotto, I'll get the Grand Cherokee. If I'm looking for something that's in my budget line, I'm going Jeep Cherokee. The interior of the Cherokee is pleasing to me as well, although it's not as radical. Now one of the things I really love about Jeep and Chrysler is they give you lots of bang for your buck. You get nice amenities, and this vehicle has that. You've got a nice touchscreen display here in a lower level, backup camera. There's a nice beefy steering wheel here with infotainment controls, so you get a lot for your money. I like the nice tungsten wrap around the center stack, matte finish. There's been this trend away from shiny finishes in cars, which I think is a great thing. It reduces glare and light getting in your eye, which is cool. You keep your eye on the road, you're safe. Nice soft touch materials. Everything that you come into contact with has a nice soft feel about it. Nice sturdy knobs and buttons on the center stack here with a simple ergo friendly design. Now I really, really like the feel of the seat here. And there's lots of give, lots of give. Look how far I can get away from the camera. I have a buddy, Kevin, who just bought this vehicle. I think Kevin, he's a big guy. I think he's like 6'5", and he's driving around in this every day, loves it. So nice leg room for taller drivers up here in the front. Now also in the back, it's very comfortable. Again, I'm an average guy about 5'9" and there's good leg, shoulder, and headroom back there for me. First impressions of the cargo space. You know, this vehicle comes up a little bit short when you compare it to some of the competition, but I'm not toting around a lot of cargo, so it doesn't mean as much to me. But if you're looking for more space, you may wanna look elsewhere. I do like the fact that there's a hidden compartment in the trunk, so you can put valuables in there away from prying eyes there's also a full size spare which is always a plus these days i interrupt this review of the jeep cherokee for a special product break now guys have you ever dropped your cell phone or something else important in the gap between the center console and your seat you know you have you know you have and then you have to pull over and try to dig it out and you look like a clown. You look like a clown, I've done it. You know you have. I have the solution for you. It's called Drop Stop and it fills that gap between your seat and the console. So you never have to worry about dropping this thing or anything else again. I'll tell you what, I'm leaving you a link in the description box below so you can get your own Drop Stop. Check it out and let them know the average guy sent you. And now let's get back to the Jeep Cherokee review. All right, so now let's talk about what ultimately is most important, the driving experience. So one of the things that I really love about the Jeep brand is the promise to go anywhere and tackle anything. Last year in the New York area, we had a terrible winter. It was cold, there was ice, there was snow. And I was slipping and sliding around in a front wheel drive car. Now, the next vehicle I get, I'd love to have the ability to have an all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive system. In this one, there's select terrain, 
So you have auto, snow, sport, sand and mud, four wheel drive. This is a great feature to have because it gives you a little bit of peace of mind that you can get out on those snow days and do what you have to do without worrying about killing yourself out on the road. It feels substantial. It feels fun and sporty, but it doesn't feel like a Jeep from way back in the day. There is a refinement to it. It tackles bumps and road imperfections a lot better. So if you're looking for that nice blend between the off-road capable vehicle and an everyday CUV that gets you from point A to point B, you know, I believe this is it. Overall, I've really enjoyed kicking it in the Jeep Cherokee. I think it's a really nice blend of sportiness and utility and everyday practicality. And you always have that Jeep promise of go anywhere, tackle any road at any time. So there you have it, another honest auto review from an average guy. If you're in the market for a small SUV that's built well, that's practical, that's fun to drive, that's stylish, has good amenities, and has all-wheel drive capability, you definitely should put the Jeep Cherokee on your test drive list, and I'll see you next time. But in the meantime, keep pushing play.